Hey friends, Sleepy here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to share with you guys a couple tips and tricks that I use for removing marker and removing stickers from my CD based games, specifically like original Xbox, PlayStation 2, GameCube, uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1, you know, mostly CD based uh, consoles, Sega, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, those kind of things. Um, not going into like cartridges, which you could use this on some cartridge stuff, but this is mostly talking about my CD based ones and how I remove marker and how I remove uh, stickers. Now, the sticker removal is a secret that I learned from my buddy Dean. His uh, YouTube channel is Vinnie Corleone62. I actually discovered his sticker removal video on YouTube randomly, and that's how I was able to actually discover his channel. I watched that video and I really liked it, thought it was informative. And then I started watching his channel and we've become really good friends here on YouTube. So I do want to give Dean credit for this because he is the one who shared this miracle secret stuff to remove stickers. I've not heard anyone else ever talk about out there, which we'll be sharing with you guys in just a moment. But first up, we're going to talk about how I remove marker. And I have a copy here of Halo 2. It was priced at $10 blue at a thrift store. I didn't pay that. I got it... Um, half price or was on a dollar day or something i know i didn't pay 10 bucks but you will run into games that have writing and stuff marker on the plastic case and there's an easy way to remove it you just need a few supplies i recommend having paper towels q-tips and rubbing alcohol 91 percent is what i use you can get like 99 percent that they use to clean circuit boards but you'll have to get it like computer uh, supply store but 91 even 70 will work, but I prefer 91 because it dries faster. So what I do is I take a Q-tip, dip it into the alcohol, and then just we'll rub it on there. And just be careful, you know, not to drip the alcohol onto anything. But then use the dry end to get it off. And sometimes you might not get it all at once so you may want to take another q-tip there and if there's a little of that residue just dip it back into your alcohol and you can take off the rest of it and alcohol dries really fast especially the higher the uh the number on it it'll dry fast and then there you guys go it removes the uh, marker and you don't have to uh, worry about it being on the plastic anymore. So that's just a quick little trick that I use to remove marker from cases because people <laughs> like to write on them, put their names and stuff on them. Definitely a great little tip for there. Now, we're going to go into the one that I really love, which is removing stickers from game cases, but specifically removing them from cover art, which I have another copy here of Halo 2. And GameStop decided to put the sticker right on the cover art, which I absolutely hated. Sometimes the stores would do it where they put it on a little piece of paper and slip it under the cover, I was fine with, but when they put it directly on the freaking cover art, it was the worst because these stickers are hard to remove be and without damaging the delicate cover art on them, which sucks. But my buddy Dean shared this uh, tip, which I will have a link to his video in the description of this video. I will also have a link as a comment so you guys can check it out because Dean is the one who told me about this secret. So again, you're going to need a few supplies. Make sure you have paper towels on hand. Make sure you have Q-tips on hand. And this is the secret that nobody talks about that my buddy Dean did. And it is called Bestine and it's rubber cement thinner. And this was an industry secret that he said that they used graphic designer and stuff on old paintings and old things that were delicate. They had old tape and stuff on them and they didn't want to damage the original art and stuff. And this is what they used to dissolve the glue on that stuff without damaging the precious artwork. So I used Bestine rubber cement thinner to remove stickers from my cover arts and cases. Now, this can be a little hard to find as it's not just sold at any store, you can't just go to the Walmart and stuff. It's usually it's sold at like arts and crafts supply stores. 
But the easiest way I found to acquire it is through Amazon or eBay. There's plenty of sellers on there and you can have it shipped right to your home and they have different sizes. I have a 16 ounce can here, which this is the second one I've ever had. I went through my first one quite uh, fast. So I got this other one as I haven't been doing as much cleaning in the last couple of years, but I'm getting really low. So I will need to order another one. And I order, might order a couple cans because this is a, like a lifesaver to remove those stupid stickers from cover arts without damaging them so we'll get it opened up here and it is not a super fast process it's not something you're gonna be done in like five seconds or anything but you give it a little time and stuff you will be able to uh, remove stickers so all i like to do is start off with getting it on a q-tip and taking it to the sticker and then rubbing it on the sticker and getting it soaked in there and you will notice it will take off the yellow of the stickers but you don't have to worry it won't damage the actual cover art underneath and then we'll get the other side there and so this is how I start the process off but this is not gonna be like the final part of it but just getting it soaked in there so it can start working on that adhesive and so after I do that then I go to my next phase which is the part that works the best that I found. You can do this with cotton balls too if you have any. I just don't have any right now so I'm just going to use this, paper, this uh, paper towel. But take it and soak it with some of the uh, solution. A little bit more wet it is, a little better it'll be use, useful for it. You can take it and then put it on there and push onto it and let it soak in to the sticker. Like I said, you don't have to worry about this stuff damaging the cover art. Now, I know I've, I've used um, Goo Gone myself. I know people are like, oh, I use Goo Gone to uh, remove uh, stickers, or I use lighter fluid or something. You know, those are dangerous uh, chemicals to be using on delicate cover art because it could damage and take the ink up. I know some people do the hair dryer, the hair dryer uh, trick where they heat up the thing, but you have to be careful because if you put it on there too long, you could discolor the paper. This is the only method I've found to use on these stickers that doesn't damage the cover art. So if it leaks on there, you don't have to worry about it. Like when I would use Goo Gone, I'd have to take the cover art out of the plastic case and you on the case. And so we're doing it again because I had Goo Gone one time get on one of my uh, cover arts and it took the color right off of it and pissed me off. So when I discovered that secret with Dean, it was amazing. And you'll know the stuff is starting to work when you can see the cover art through the uh, sticker. So you have, just have to hold it on here sometimes for a few minutes and do some treatments to it here but let it soak in there so it can remove the adhesive where you can get that sticker off and I've saved a lot of games I've got a lot more to do but you'll be able to start uh, noticing that it's gonna it, it likes to peels up and I recommend using uh, another case just if you have an extra one around and put the cover art on it like that so that you don't have to worry about crushing the cover art and you have a little bit of a hard service to work with but you can see it's already starting to come up in the corner there and didn't leave any residue behind and didn't leave any of the paper behind. So now we'll just give it some more time to soak here. But this is a trick that I have been using for several years now and it's all thanks to Dean and his wonderful stuff, Rubber Cement Thinner by Bestine. Just an amazing secret that not many people talk about. So I wanted to share it with you guys and let you guys know about this amazing little trick you can do to save game cover arts. Because I always hated that. Like, you know, you can have a really expensive game and then has a stupid GameStop uh, sticker on it. Which, I mean, Halo 2 is not like it's anything rare, but it's one I had available here that I could show you guys. And it's really, really coming off. Look at that, guys. Just, just amazing. And it's almost off now. And this was in real time. I didn't stop the video or anything. Look at that. Sticker removed. Look at the cover art. No issues. No discoloration. No damage or anything. Now, you may feel it and be like, oh, there's a little bit of sticky, which this one doesn't. Now, if you have that, take yourself a nice little Q-tip. Go back into your bestine. Get it wet. And then just go over where the sticker was at. Here, the sides. Because I can feel a very faint amount of stickiness. And then the stuff just dries right on its own. Stickiness is gone. You don't have to do anything else to it. Just let it sit there. Now, sometimes some people might notice, like, oh, it smells a little bit like Bestine. 
then you know what you do? What I do. Take the game cover art and just let it sit out for a couple hours. It airs out. It's completely fine. Now look at that. It's as if that sticker was never placed on this Halo 2 copy. Didn't damage the artwork or anything. Now see, that's a secret here. If you guys were to use Goo Gone, I took that sticker. All around here, this color would have been all taken up. The black would have been up and it would have looked terrible. Or the sticker would have been left behind and it would have ripped the cover art. So, removing those pesky GameStop stickers, which <laughs> there's some hair on the floor. Removing these stupid ugly stickers from your cover arts. Use Bestine Rubber Cement Thinner. A trade secret that I learned from my good buddy Dean. Make sure you guys check out his channel. Check out his video as he shows you guys how he removes them from his plastic cases. Which you could also use that on the plastic case as well. You know, get that Bestine, put it on this sticker here. And you can remove it from plastic as well. But my thing that I really love is that it can remove it from the cover arts of games. Because that always sucks when people put stickers on the cover art itself and not just the case. It's even hard to remove. But with Bestine, you don't have to worry about that. So again, it's called Bestine. It's rubber cement thinner. You can find it at Arts and, uh, Arts and Crafts Supply Stores. It's not easy to find though. Like a wall. I'm not going to find it usually at like a Walmart or a Target or anything. But I found the easiest way to get it is on eBay or Amazon. And you can get different sizes of it. I myself am going to be ordering a couple more cans because I'm getting really low. And this has been a miracle worker. So again, Dean, I can't thank you enough for telling me about this secret. Because not a lot of people know about using Best Dean. And he's the only person I know that's ever made a video about it. And so I wanted to make a video myself to share with you guys what I do. And again, like I said, I'll have a link to his video for you guys to check out. And I also have a list of the supplies that I use. I hope this guy, this video has been helpful for you guys. hope it'll save a few of your guys' um, cover arts and remove those pesky stickers. You can also use it to remove on cartridges as well and get stupid pesky stickers off of cartridges like those blockbuster ones that they have on there and Game Crazy and Hollywood Video and stuff. It's also useful to use on there. I've even used Bestine on my magazines and I've been able to remove those stupid price stickers on them or the stickers that has somebody's address on them. That Bestine is just like a miracle worker and that not a lot of people know about and now you know about it. And feel free to share this video with uh, other people. Let people know that there's a great way to remove stickers from their videos and also you can remove marker from cases by using uh, rubbing alcohol. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. You guys have an amazing day and sleepy. We'll see you next time.